every package uh, that you distribute via CPAN or even internally should come with a bunch of tests. All should be located in the T directory and within there there should be files with the .t extension. In all the old times there used to be a test PL file within the root of the distribution. And so if you find that one, that's really the, the old style writing a test like 10 years ago or so. Today everyone is writing adding T files uh, in the T subdirectory. And the T files are basically Perl scripts, uh, but they are tests. So they are uh, printing out uh, what we call the TAP, the Test Anything Protocol. The test script is a really simple thing, it's actually just using your module and uh, making sure that uh, whatever uh, is it should do, it's really doing. So whatever it's, it's testing is basically putting in some input, getting answered output and making sure that the output is what we expected. A basic test script looks like this, use strict use warnings just to make it nice. Then we load the testing framework, use test more, then we decide, we set they tell it that we are going to have three unit tests or three assertions or whatever you want to call it. I call it test units because they are not necessarily really unit tests in the usual way of the usual meaning of the word. They might be testing some more complex things. And then there are the, the use cases here. So the first one is use OK checking whether this can be loaded, the module can be loaded via use. Then OK will check whether the this call, the add call. So just we are just using the, the, the functions of the module. This module probably has a function called add, which takes two numbers and adds them together. So we are checking whether the result equals to two. If this is true, then this will be a successful uh, test unit. And this is just the description of it. And here we are uh, a different way of testing the simil a similar thing is having the, here three parameters. The first is the actual result of the call of the test that we are, of the module that we are testing, the function of the module. The second one is the expected value, and the third is just a description of the current test unit. So this is the test, and when you're typing in make test or Perl build test, that will probably run all the test files which are located in the test directory.